Well, I thought it would be easier to just go ahead and shoot some video um, rather than posting a lot of photos and trying to type out a lot of explanations. So this is my setup on my um, Aaron's 1032. <clears throat> These are the uh, power seat motors that I got out of a uh, salvage yard. Um, that's the one that operates the uh, chute deflector. And this is the one that operates the uh, chute rotator. They're both, uh, I guess, probably the same screw drive motors. Um, this one I just made a bracket, a simple L bracket. Um, used the uh, bolts or screws uh, that hold the casing together to hold the uh, motor to the bracket itself and uh, then just connected the rod right there to the gear. Um, it's really important if you decide to do this that when you pull the motor um, from the seat that you also take whatever type of um, piece of plastic or a lot of times it's a nylon block that's on the threaded rod. Uh, it's really important that you, that you get that too because Otherwise, you have no way of connecting um, the screw to anything else. Um, these are hardened shafts, so drilling through them to put a pin in is really difficult. Um, on this one, uh, you can see that black piece of plastic. What I did was I uh, ground two flat spots on the threaded rod and then uh, drilled out and tapped uh, the piece of plastic and just put some set screws to hold it fixed on the on the threaded rod and that's just a then a uh, piece of rod that was part of the old crank system and that is pretty easy to drill a hole through so I did that and put a drift pin in it. Um, up here the same thing kind of true this block right here uh, was part of the seat mechanism this one this particular one was bolted uh, to the um, seat frame so it made it really easy to connect it to the chute. Um, this actually pivots when the chute runs up and down and again that's just a threaded block that is pretty much just pushed on that pin right there. Um, this is the controller this little joystick um, was actually for a um, searchlight on a boat and then there's a fuse block, or a little uh, fuse, inline fuse. Uh, this is the battery, where the battery is. It's, uh, the battery's a little 12 volt out of an electric scooter, which works really well. Um, if you can't find some kind of a joystick, uh, again, this one's great because it operates both of them. Um, you can just use a double pull, double throw, momentary switch. Um, so anyway, this is uh, you take the joystick and um, tip it forward, and the chute deflector goes up. Pull it back, and the chute deflector goes down. Uh, the rotator, same thing. You push it left, and the chute goes to the left. Push it to the right. Chute goes to the right. These uh, things operate at a pretty good speed really it's just about right it's not too fast it's not too slow um, you just have to be careful though because these motors have a lot of torque to them um, I don't have any limiting switches right now on them which I maybe will put on at some point but if you would rotate this uh, to the point that you run out of teeth I don't really know what would happen but something would probably bend um, I'm sure on the chute deflector it would um, I don't know what would bend, but something would. Uh, those little pieces of red plastic and the uh, black and yellow stripes are kind of give me a visual on where my limits are. Um, you can see on the bottom one, when it gets about parallel to that line, um, that's as far down as you want to go. And when I go up, uh, same thing, when you see that yellow triangle when you get to the point that's about it
and I guess that's about it really uh, this I, I, I had this set up on another blower and then when I got this blower I put this type of motor on it and this is really a pretty simple way to hook it up um, it also allows you to keep the original setup where if you had a problem all you'd have to do is pull that one bolt down there take the motor itself off uh, pull the pin out of there or actually no pull the uh, circ clip out of there um, and put your old rods and crank handle back in so anyway uh, I guess that's about it also too when you pull the motors uh, make sure you take the plugs that uh, that are there you want to have uh, and take as much wire as you can you can always cut it off but uh, again make sure you get the plugs with it because those are automotive plugs so anyway that's it